So here's where we are in the story. Jesus taught people about God by telling stories called parables. This is the parable of the wise and foolish builders, or the parable of the good foundation. Jesus told this parable at least two times, once in the Sermon on the Mount by the Sea of Galilee, the other time near a town called Capernaum. The people who lived there understood how every year rainfall caused the Sea of Galilee to flood their farmland, and how it affected the ground and the buildings built on top of the ground. Jesus was explaining what God's kingdom is like, where people forgive one another just as God forgives them, where people love their enemies and pray for those who treat them badly, where people don't judge one another, where people treat others the way they want to be treated. These are all nice things to say and believe. It's a whole other thing to obey. For Jesus, listening to his words wasn't enough. Jesus required something more. Jesus said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do what I tell you? Everyone who comes to me and hears my words and does them, I will show you what he is like. He is like a man building a house who dug deep and laid the foundation on the rock. Then came rain and wind, and then a flood rose. The water broke against that house and could not shake it because it had been well built on a good foundation. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <sighs> but the one who hears my words and does not do them is like a man who built a house on the sand without a foundation. And when the water broke against it, immediately it fell. And the ruin of that house was great. When Jesus finished his parable, the crowds were astonished. They'd never heard anyone teach like him. But what did this parable mean? Well, the answer lies beneath the surface. <laughs> Gotta do a little digging. The foolish builder didn't think his house needed a foundation. And then he built his house on sand. That's like a person who doesn't think they have to actually obey what Jesus said to do. They don't think they actually have to love their enemies and treat others the way they want to be treated. Thing is, sand and water and wind and flooding equals huff and puff and blow your house down. <laughs> Little more digging. A bit more. Oh, uh, 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 all right, just a sec. A little bit farther. <laughs> Just keep digging. Just keep digging. <laughs> Here we are. Bedrock. The wise builder put in the effort. He dug and dug until he made it down to solid rock. There, he laid the foundation. And on that foundation, he built his whole house. And solid rock and rain and wind and flooding equals whatever. I'm built on rock, baby. <laughs> the house stayed standing. Now, Jesus knew there are always storms in life, and not just physical storms and other natural disasters, but also emotional storms, even spiritual storms, when we feel afraid or angry or sad. Storms can shake us. It can feel like our faith is falling apart at the foundation, but if we remember the words of Jesus and do what he says, we'll have the best foundation possible and we'll stay standing. Jesus knew there was a storm coming his way too, an ultimate test of his own strength and faith, but he would pass the test in the greatest act of sacrifice the world had ever seen. And this sacrifice would be the good foundation for everyone who has faith in Jesus. And I can't wait for you to hear that story. <laughs>